The Ever Given is being held in the Swiss Canal until its owners pay a billion dollars in compensation. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian Heiser here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your stein of coffee because the Ever Given saga is still going on, everyone. It's still going on. It's being held for $1 billion, essentially, if they don't, uh, waiting on compensation for the damage it's caused. Now, the disaster, the Ever Given disaster, the ship with the name Evergreen on the side, because Evergreen is the shipping company that's using the ship they're using it so if we have a look let's have a look here remember when it was caught in the middle of the Suez Canal there and we can see that they were you know dredging out the sand and they were towing it and they finally freed it there's a lot of work there to get it moving and you could see how many ships were being held up down here the south of the canal and also to the north of the canal so it, it made a significant impact on global shipping and the ramifications of it will be felt for some time because there'll be delays and some of the big ships particularly the ever given size they they're limited to where they can dock so they are going to be ramifications guys and if we have a look right now we can see the ever given is still here in the great bitter lake south of the Suez canal it's not been allowed to move there she's sitting right there so it's held for one one billion dollars when i first read this i had a sudden urge to go and watch austin powers again <laughs> so the ever given ship has been forbidden to leave the swiss canal until its owners pay up to one billion in compensation for the chaos it caused the Ever Given can't leave the Suez Canal until compensation is paid, officials said Thursday. It is still unclear how much has to be paid, though it could be up to $1 billion. The owners of the Ever Given said it hasn't officially heard from the Egyptian authorities yet. While the giant Ever Given container ship might have been freed from the banks of the Suez Canal, it still finds itself stuck, embroiled in a dispute over who should pay for dislodging it from the waterway. Egyptian authorities said they wouldn't release the massive ship, which has been stuck in the Suez Canal for almost a week, until its owners agreed to pay up to $1 billion in compensation. The vessel will remain here until investigations are complete and compensation is paid. Lieutenant General Osama Raibi, who leads the Suez Canal Authority, told a local news station on Thursday, according to the Wall Street Journal. We hope for a speedy agreement, he said, adding... That the minute they agree to compensation, the vessel will be allowed to move. He said the Egyptian authorities would demand one billion to cover the costs of freeing the vessel. The figure would cover the expenses of the equipment, the machinery used to clear the way, uh, 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 the way, and damage to the canal itself by dredging, while also compensating about 800 people who worked to release the 200,000 ton ship. He said. It would also refund the cost from the blocking of the canal, which ended up causing an epic traffic jam of more than 400 ships on either side of the canal. Raby did not say how exactly he arrived at that figure. According to the London-based financial firm Revintiv, the Egyptian state lost transit fees worth $95 million because of the blockage. Here we can see an aerial view of the canal. I mean, one billion, it sounds good, it sounds for a headline. Can they, they need to be able to justify a cost like that. How long can they hold the ship there? It is also still unclear who will pay for Egypt's demand for compensation. Shoei uh, Kisen, Kashai Limited, the Japanese owner of the Ever Given, told the journal it hadn't officially heard from the Egyptian authorities. Eric Heisey, the president of the Ever Given Marine Corp, the charterer, Sorry, the president of Evergreen Marine Corp. The charter of Ever Given. It's confusing. Evergreen is the name of the company, the shipping and transportation company, that's chartering Ever Given from the Japanese shipyard which owns it. You, know, you, you get it. That's why everyone's going, why does it say, you know, you're calling it Ever Given, it's got Evergreen on it. Is it some conspiracy theory? I mean, yeah, it's just branding, guys. Just branding. Confusing and branding. 
Because they, I bet you they probably built the project with Evergreen in mind. So they said the company was free of responsibility from cargo delays because it will be covered by insurance, Bloomberg reported. Well, there you go. The 396.24 meter ever given made headlines on the 23rd of March when it steered off course during an unexpected windstorm and became lodged in the sandbanks of the Suez Canal, disrupting global trade. It was freed six days later. Egypt has since opened a formal investigation into how the vessel got stuck. The ship, its cargo, and the 25-person Indian crew of sailors will remain at anchor in Egypt's greater, uh, Great Bitter Lake until the investigation is over. Earlier this month, authorities told Insider the crew of the ship was safe and would continue getting paid. Rabi said he would prefer to settle the matter of compensation outside court, though he didn't rule out a lawsuit. We could not agree on a certain compensation or it goes to court, he said, according to CNBC. If they decide to go to court, then the ship should be held. So, you know, claims of a billion dollars. So who owns Ever Given? We just found that out. I thought we'd have a look at, well, it's one of the largest container ships in the world. It's owned by the Shu Kensi uh, Kiasha. And it's time charted and operated by container transport and shipping company Evergreen, which is a Taiwanese company with Indian crew. <laughs> it really is multi, uh, multinational, isn't it? How these work. Now, I looked up Evergreen's share price. It's up 55. Uh, I think that's uh, Taiwanese dollars. You can see there it's climbing up, but also their monthly revenue is surging up. So I wonder, I mean, this is only one ship. They've got transportation. They're, they're a big company. But it's interesting to see. I mean, we're reading all, you know, we just looked earlier today about increasing shipping costs and freight costs. So there you go, guys, right there in this company. Even, I wonder if this will probably be good for their brand. More people will learn that they exist. So what would your solution be to this? Would Would you pay? Would you pay? Would you let it go to court? I mean, what it's what's going to be, it's going to be the insurance companies. That'll be the ones that decide whether to pay or whether to take it to court. Then what about all the, the cargo on the ship? Are they just going to hold all the cargo there? What if it spoils? It's just going to keep going on and on. Probably it's just a bit of um, you know boistering, the chest thumping to try and, and make a few people afraid. We'll have to see. As always, thank you all for watching. Please like share and subscribe to the channel. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on this one in the comments down below. If you're a fan and enjoy the content I create here, there are a few ways you can support us. You can join us on YouTube or Patreon. You can support us using our affiliate links on Amazon, eBay, Independent Reserve or Aussie Broadband. Take care everyone, have a great day, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.